Employees, and especially younger employees, are looking for the same technology at work that they have at home. Consumerization of devices in the workplace is bringing new challenges for organizations, and many IT organizations have struggled to keep up with the streamlined and ever-advancing personal technologies owned by employees and the changing expectations about how people like to work. We'll show you how you can deliver the next generation workplace experience. Tomorrow's workplace, today. I know that I walk into a customer and I address four fundamental principles in a collaboration conversation. They are mobile, social, video and virtual. This is not uh, connecting up to a personal Gmail account. This is getting access to serious corporate resources. There's a massive increase in demand, predominantly because of the iPads and iPhones influx of that. The fact that everyone has them at home and they're hoping to be able to connect their home devices into our network. How can we allow our people to do this and do it easily and do it in a way that they're used to doing at home, but do it in a secure way? The smartphone has had a remarkable impact in our expectation of being able to bring a device into an organisation and being able to connect both to our work and to our life. These challenges are driving a change in how organisations deploy and support end-user clients, with a strong uptake in bring-your-own desktop models. A Logicalis survey shows 45% of respondents have plans to implement desktop virtualization within 12 months, or that it's part of the IT strategy. Analysts see desktop virtualization as a top five technology, with 20% of users implementing in the next 12 months, and 40% in the next 24. 62% of Australian organisations are planning to procure tablets in the next 12 months. And by the end of 2013, the number of organisations that have implemented work shifting policies for part or all of their workforce will have increased from 37% to a massive 93%. Countries like China, Germany, the US, India and Australia have the most aggressive client virtualization deployment plans. There's a big transformational change in, in today's workspace. We're seeing a big change in the next generation of, uh, of workers coming through, your generation net. They've been brought up now with different form factors, different devices, um, and they're comfortable um, utilising uh, the technology at home and they want to have that same experience in, in the workforce. And studies have shown that they're, they're a lot more comfortable with the technology and familiar with it than you know, their productivity has increased. And, they're stuck in a lot more efficiencies. You've got people with uh, mobile devices or laptops and, and roaming users. Um, people are copying their data locally, people are losing laptops or they get stolen and a lot of the times it's not protected or backed up into the corporate network. So one of the major sh things that we're seeing at the moment, if IT can't supply them an environment where they can be effective and comfortable with their own device, they will make their own space. So what we're seeing is they will go out to the internet and use storage as a service such as Dropbox or BoxNet. So the data is getting out of the organisation anyway purely because uh, IT is not keeping up with the demand. The old way of delivering IT is to secure and control every endpoint. Data is often stored across hundreds of work or home PCs with USB or portable drives for managers taking files home with them. Not to mention the CEO's brand new iPad. A far more manageable approach is to enable desktop virtualization with a BYOD or bring your own device policy, as this allows any device to access the network securely and effectively, as well as increasing productivity for an increasingly demanding mobile workforce. Using this approach, existing notebooks can be retained and their life typically extended by 30 to 50%. But for an almost immediate return on investment, thin clients can be deployed, and Logicalis includes options for both zero footprint clients, including the new Cisco CS tablet, or existing IP handsets. By combining desktop virtualization and tablets, such as Cisco CS, a mobile client can be docked or smooth roamed in the office to enable a full-size monitor, keyboard, and mouse to be used. Previously, desktop virtualization has had poor video quality due to the hairpin effect, where voice and video are rated from the virtual desktop through the data center and then back again. We address this with Cisco's unique and highly optimized voice and video processing capabilities. We can also include mobile device management or MDM to secure, monitor and manage mobile devices, including deploying enterprise apps, reducing your business risk and your support costs. Shifting all the computing and the data into the data center requires sufficient network storage and processor resources, so we can deliver a platform such as FlexPod or vBlock, which is optimized to give you the best possible VDI experience. 
So, we've eliminated costly upgrade cycles, reduced client provisioning costs, and centralized IT support. We can also deliver the solution as a managed service with a predictable monthly fee, backed by SLAs and single number telephone support. Or you can take advantage of our cloud delivery model and move to a hosted and managed environment with your applications provisioned on a private cloud platform. Our solution delivers a true virtual desktop environment and enables a flexible BYOD policy delivered as an on-premise, managed or hosted solution with a choice of clients. It delivers the benefits of desktop virtualization with the lowest risk to ensure greater productivity, a happy workforce, and a much reduced admin and support overhead. So our solution is made up of an ecosystem of our partners, um, with our strategic partners being Citrix that provide the application and desktop uh, virtualization technology, and Cisco who provide the endpoints, uh, also assist in the security and the networking component of the solution and also the data center from a computing platform. From a Logicalis perspective, we want to give the customers a choice in how they consume these new solutions. We can continue with the traditional uh, systems integration practice of designing, installing, and handing over their environment for the customer to get the benefits of the solution that we're putting forward. Um, also, we can layer on top our Logicalis management capabilities for organisations that have got limited internal IT support or do not want to be burdened with the operation of such a new system. The last option is, is more of a consumption based model where we look at providing this infrastructure on site owned by Logicalis um, and it will be on a monthly operational expense uh, based on the amount of users that you currently got in your environment. The environment that we're striving for is to be able to allow people to work anywhere, anytime, on any device. And that's going to be predicated on the fact that it's going to be a virtual delivery model. We can't be tied to a PC. We need to be able to work across a PC, a tablet or a, or a smartphone. And virtually will be the way that it's achieved. I believe that's the way it's going. I mean, look at the National Broadband Network coming out. All of a sudden, residential addresses are getting speedy networks just like what we've got in an office. The staff love it. I think uh, they really enjoy the flexibility. It gets our venue managers out of the offices and out onto the pub floor where they should be and where they should be managing. So they love that, uh, our management team loves that and it's, uh, it's a real win-win for us.